Yes, you can also uh, create your own uh, fantasy site. Yes, your skills win big real cash. You can log on to myteam11.com. Surely a man like Hazratullah, the talent he's got, he'll be in uh, my team. What a talent he is, uh, Alistair. He certainly is in this form of the game. He's a big unit and uh, hits it miles. Ah! Using his feet, Luke Ronke, and uh, a little bit of outswing from Gulbadeen Naib. Just a hint of movement in the air and it gets past the outside edge. Yeah, just a moment, and that was enough. A uh, bit of lateral movement. Scramble seam, although, but uh, coming down the track there. Find that big, uh, expansive drive on the offside, missing it completely. These are going to be important overs. Uh, the field can be spread after the power play. So, more protection in the deep. That's in the air, just falling short of the fielder. I think if I'm a seamer, I'm trying to bowl as many Yorkers as possible because then you're taking out the pitch, and that's uh, the flat surface. Anything that you were relying on to bounce on this pitch first, uh, we know it's coming on very nicely, and we know that it's good for batting. So if uh, you're a seamer, you just want to be trying to bowl in Yorkers. Pretend that uh, you're bowling at the death. Just get up there full straight. And uh, if you want to mix it up, then maybe the odd slow ball, but I think nothing else. There we go. There's a slow ball. Well bowled. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. If that had been a direct hit, he was gone. He didn't even try and slide the bat. He jumped up in the air, Luke Ronke. And uh, it's okay now that uh, it wasn't a direct. He's still there. I'll tell you what, this will be very interesting. I think he was out. Yeah, you're right, I think. Uh, just seeing his reaction as well. Oh, he was struggling. Would have been a goner. Just require a direct hit. Makes a big difference. Uh, there's a length ball. You don't want to be bowling there. It evades the fielder in mid-off and goes away to the boundary for four. Valiant effort from Ben Lachlan. But length balls, you're inviting the batsman to play a big shot and invariably on a surface like this, the batsman wins. Intent was very good. Straight over the bowler's head, knew exactly what he was doing. Tried his best in the end, but in vain. That ball was really hit. Well-timed. Another 4-4. Four, four. Or uh, Luke Ronke. That's the fourth uh, boundary for him. He's already hit a six as well. He's trying to up, up the ante now. Oh, that's uh, brilliant. In the gap. Got to be back to back boundaries to win the over. Eight gone. It's uh, the 100 up as well. 102 for one. Both the 50s coming in uh, quick fashion. The first one, 21, when Hazratullah was out there. Then uh, 27, the second one. They're doing well. Last ball, uh, previous over. Once again, a very good uh, boundary. Just bowling lane deliveries, and he was up to it. Just waiting for that. As rightly mentioned, Alistair, they've got to be bowling a uh, block. Ball deliveries right out there. The Yorkers. Once again, the length stuff. Not timing it too well this time. Yeah, you're asking for trouble. As far as I'm concerned, as a, a seamer, if you're bowling uh, length balls on the surface, you've got to treat it as though you're bowling in the last over. Just get your head right, get it uh, on there. And just say, right, this is uh, what the situation is. And just pretend uh, that's uh, what you have to do because uh, any length balls, wow, they're disappearing. We bowled a couple in the block hole, missed out, bowled length. The boundaries.
That's played well. He's finding those gaps up. Oh, colliding into each other. That could be painful. Just hope he's okay out there. Gee whiz, I tell you what, that uh, was a fearful blow between the two advancing fielders. One of them's fine, the other's not so far. It's not what you want to see on a cricket field. They were both hurtling after the ball, trying to make the save, and just couldn't bail out in the end. It was perfectly in the gap by Javad Ahmadi. And have a look at this. They both got their eyes on the ball. And then look up at the last minute, Muhammad Nabi. There's the shoulder goes into the jaw. That's the problem. Muhammad Nabi's up. He's fine. But uh, it's uh, Usman Ghani. He's the guy that's taken a bit of... A blow here. He gets the elbow into the jaw. So I think he's the one that's in trouble. Muhammad Nabi will uh, feel a bit uh, lightheaded, but he'll get up. He'll be fine, but not this bloke. And you don't want to see this. This is uh, not good at all. He's in trouble. Yeah, you're right. I think uh, really is uh, feeling the pain. Just hope that he recovers uh, at the earliest. Really sad to see uh, colliding into each other. You're right. That elbow hitting up. Oh, and he. Uh, went down after that. Mohamed Nabi uh, just rolling over the skirting, but uh, Usman Ghani, I tell you what, he's in pain. Yeah, and he's a big unit as well, Mohamed Nabi. So, uh, let's just hope uh, that uh, everything's okay. The physios and... We're out there quickly, but I just think they need more than the physio. They need some uh, medical attention. And uh, there's an ambulance that hangs out the back there. There are medical staff. I think that's what's needed on the field. They need to get that out there and get a stretcher there and get this bloke uh, in some uh, prime medical care. Well, here we go. There we there we have it. And uh, Ben Lachlan providing some assistance as well, carrying on the stretcher. And uh, there's another one uh, coming on as well. So finally, we've got some medical assistance because that's what's required. My word. In any other sports, rugby I'm talking about, in the contact sports, this is what's expected, but not on a cricket field, and you don't like to see it. Yeah, really sad to see, really sad. Colliding into each other, really.